I know that everybody here is a pirate today, so can we get a big, gigantic Baltimore Arr! Arr! How about one more? Arr! Arr! All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, and welcome to the opening of the Pirate Ships of Baltimore. My name is Chris Rosam, Vice President of Living Classrooms Foundation, resident MC this morning. This has been a long time coming. We are ex so excited to open up today. As many of you know, Living Classrooms was founded in 1985 and known for many programs throughout the Baltimore and Washington community. It all started right here in Baltimore, right over by the Science Center with the building of the Lady Maryland, our flagship schooner. The education ex fleet expanded and now includes Sigsby, Mildred Bell, the historic ship's fleet all around here with the Chesapeake, the Torsk, the Taney, and Constellation, and the lighthouse over on Pier 5. These new electric pirate ships join the LCF fleet as not only the latest inner harbor attraction for visitors to our city, but also the newest youth employment program offered by the foundation. For over 20 years, Living Classrooms has operated the paddle boats and the iconic Chessie Dragons right over on the other side there of the World Trade Center. And the new pirate ships will enable us to expand that employment opportunity to even more Baltimore kids. The new boats hold up to six people. They were developed over a two-year research and development period with the help of Mr. Jim Shea and Premier Rides. Woohoo! Premier Rides is a global attraction development company based right here in Baltimore. And also, we worked with a company called Consolidated Yacht, a boat building firm based down in Cambridge to actually build the boats. The boats will be available for visitors from mid-March through the fall, weather permitting of course. Although it wouldn't be fun to be out at sea during a storm in one of these boats. No! no. <laughs> And they're great fun for not, for not only families, but also for groups. They're a really, really cool way to see the harbor by water. We are extremely excited to add the pirate ships of Baltimore to the Living Classrooms fleet. We ask you to please help spread us the word, spread the word about this new attraction, not only for its value as a tourist attraction, but also its value to the community, helping put kids to work, which of course is so important. For those of you watching us on local TV or hearing this on the radio, please visit us down here in the, in the Inner Harbor. Come on down. Share this good news. Find us on Facebook. Come downtown to take a ride on the ships. It's now my pleasure to introduce you to the President and CEO of Living Classrooms Foundation and a person who I've worked with for over 30 years, Mr. James Piper Bond. Thank you, Captain. Thank you, Captain. There's no better captain than Captain Chris Rosum. You know, we've been looking far and wide for good pirates today, and we found a bunch, Mayor. We found a bunch of good pirates from the Crossroads School. We found pirates from the Fresh Start program uh, who are joining us. Uh, pirates all across the region are storming the Inner Harbor, and we're thr thrilled with that. It's wonderful to see your Deputy Mayor, Pete Hammond, over here. I love seeing Ben Wu and Mike Gill and the, all our team with Power 52 and Cherie. You know, these are not only the newest attraction in a half dozen years on the Inner Harbor, Mayor Pugh, but they're also a fantastic employment training venue. We're gonna be able to employ 50 young people here this summer at this dock, the pirate ship dock, and at the, uh, the paddle boat dock with the, with the dragons. And the other really cool thing about this is, this is solar fueled. Thanks to Power 52, our great partnership with Power 52. Cherie is here and the whole team, and uh, we've been doing training programs up at the uh, the UA house on Fayette Street and thanks to Power 52 now we are going to be powering all these ships because it's they're run by batteries and the sun is going to fuel the batteries so it, it's a thrilling uh, new attraction so we've talked workforce development we have talked uh, clean energy I want to thank some of our neighbors here the World Trade Center has been fantastic and that's the home of many many pirates Mike I know you got a lot of pirates up on that Lots of pirates. on those floors up top and uh, and Harbor Place has always been a tremendous partner with Living Classrooms in the city. Uh, the National Aquarium uh, is it, just fab fabulous, and John and his whole team are, are tremendous. And the Waterfront Partnership and Laurie, uh, the Baltimore City Inner Harbor Bike Police Unit are always helping us. This is a safe, tremendous place for families to come to Baltimore and ride the pirate ships. We want to thank uh, Composite Yacht, ABFAB Designs, and Maryland Screen Printers who help us to do the t-shirts and all the hats and everything. 
So it's a, it's a team effort, as anything Living Classrooms does. It's all about helping our city be a safe, strong, healthy place and serve over 25,000 children, youth, and adults in our program, and hundreds of thousands will now ride the pirate ships and see the historic ships. And the greatest cheerleader for the state of Maryland is a true friend of Living Classrooms who we honored at the Jubilee last Thursday. Mike Gill just got back from Vegas. Uh, with the uh, and uh, he came out. He looks. What the heck was he doing there? <laughs> He's drumming up uh, business for this for the city of Baltimore. I know, but Mike, why don't you come on up? I see you brought your sword, and that's fabulous. Yeah. we love having you, man. Thanks, James. Thank you, buddy. How good is this? How good is this? Let me put my sword down for a second. Can you, can you just hold that for me? <laughs> don't open it. Don't open it. Hey, to a whole bunch of people. First of all, my buddy, uh, Mayor Catherine Pugh, fantastic to be out here this morning. This is unbelievable. This is like another, uh, it's like another check the box in the renaissance of Baltimore, what we're all out here for today. It's another check the box. You know, I brought this book with me because we're going to try to do a rewrite. It's pretty good. It's called Pirates on the Chesapeake. I think we got to get one Pirates on the Inner Harbor. There you go, man. And we'll dedicate the James Bond and Chris and all these pirates from Crossroads. Um, a couple of real quick thoughts. First of all, uh, we are kind of pirates up at Commerce. We created a little theme a while back. You know, pirates are, uh, pirates have fun. Y'all have fun? You're creative too, I bet you, aren't you? You work hard? Yes. Try to get things done, don't you? That's what pirates do. So you crossroad kids are just perfect examples of pirates. Um, when I do think about living classrooms, I've said to James, there's three or four organizations in Baltimore, I'll put living classrooms up here, that if we had enough money, I would just push my chips to the, I didn't mean that because I was in Las Vegas recently, because <laughs> I'm not a gambler. Um, well, maybe a dollar. But if I had a bunch of chips, I'd push them into the middle of the table for living classrooms. Because when I think about their mission, and uh, number one, I love the expression potential. Helping the kids to reach their potential. That to me is everything. Put them in position to reach their potential. And then take it one more step, and that is through businesses in Baltimore and all around, create opportunities for these great young pirates to do real things so that it helps them to achieve their potential. Living Classrooms, there's no better organization in Baltimore, for that matter, the entire United States, for what their mission is than Living Classrooms. Give James a hand again, please. Right. Great. Look, uh, that's, uh, th those are pretty much what I've got on my mind this morning. I'm thinking about James, I'm thinking about you kids, I'm thinking about these great pirate ships, I'm thinking about Baltimore, I think about it all the time about what can we do to be great, I mean, to really be great uh, in every single way. And this is just another nice step. So over the next uh, years ahead, James, hundreds of thousands of Marylanders and folks from outside of Maryland are gonna walk the plank, <laughs> jump on one of the ships, and have a beautiful ride around the Inner Harbor. So a uh, great day for living classrooms in Baltimore. Thank you. Thank you Mike. Secretary Gill, thank you so much for being here. Can I get another big argh? Ah! All right, good. I'm, that means everybody's listening this morning. Um, as uh, Mike said, it does take a lot of people to help put uh, an event like this and a, and a program like this together. And I just want to give a special shout out to Julie Kickline of Kickline Designs. Um, Julie helped us brand. She consulted with us on the branding. She helped us with all the signage here and just really helped us uh, position the ships um, so that they are really a one, so they're really attractive here on the Inner Harbor. So I want to thank Julie for that. Let me just say this to you all. The most important piece for me right here is the hiring of the young people because we've got to get our young people working in our city. As you well know, one of my greatest violence reduction initiative, part of that is making sure people work in our city. And when I think about the 16,500 young people who applied to work this summer, and I think 11,000 followed through, 9,000 will actually go to work. We're still looking for jobs for those other 2,000. This is a living classroom. It teaches our young people how to interact, how to engage, and how to work. And as I say to people, you know, we made Baltimore City Community College free because we want our young people to realize that they have every opportunity in this city to be successful. 
But we also realize that there's some people who don't want to go to college. And so for the first time ever, we held our own jobs fair for young people who are graduating from high school because we need to account for every young person in the city. We want to know where they're going. We want to know if they're going to Baltimore City Community College. We want to know if they're going to the armed forces. We want to know if they're going to a four-year institution in our city or outside of our city. We need to know that if they want to go to work, that they have the opportunity to work. So I want to say again to James Bond, Chris Rowan, Rosam, thank you so much for this attraction. This is the first time in a half dozen years that we've got a new attraction in the Inner Harbor. So what this does is, and our hope is, that it continues to draw people into our downtown community. You should know that Forbes magazine named this city one of the fastest downtown growing populations in the country. We are listed at number eight or nine. So we want people to know this is one of the safest parts of the city, but we want every part of our city to be safe. So again, it's about collaboration, it's about working together, and it's about supporting efforts like this, the Living Classroom Undergirds and Power 52. So again, let me say thank you to the, to the students from Crossroads School, for the young workers in Living Classroom, for those of you who are learning by experience, thank you, and here's what we need you all to do. Realize that your best days are in front of you. The potential for success in Baltimore are great. And again, it's how we collaborate, work together, and continue to push our young people forward. This is about the future of our city. What we do for them at their earliest age changes the trajectory of their lives. So again, thank you Living Classrooms. Thank you Mike Gill for all the work that you do. We were out in Las Vegas to bring back business to the state, but to bring back business to Baltimore City. This harbor is growing, but so are other parts of our city. And we want to make sure that every part of our city has the same opportunity. So again, I'm getting hoarse, so that means it must be time for me to stop. But Pete, thank you for all the work that you do and for all of the young people. Be successful. Know that Baltimore cares about you. Living Classroom is a learning by doing experience. So again, thank you all. And we look forward to the ships riding away, the pirates leading the effort to make sure that people enjoy this part of Baltimore's experience. Thank you. All right, uh, Mayor Pugh, we're about to uh, present you with a ceremonial sword oh, here. And, I, and while you're doing that, I have, while you're doing that, I have a citation. Oh, okay. <clears throat> this citation is for a living classroom, and I'm not going to read all that it says, but it's really in recognition of this endeavor, the Pirate Ships of Baltimore, uh, the first new attraction in the Inner Harbor in almost a half dozen years. So thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, argh! <laughs>